Hi everyone, it's Giselle with another message. Oh, there's so much stuff that's actually come up today with the increase of new twin flames. And whilst I always assumed that this information spoke for itself, that people could just logically understand what is and isn't acceptable for some weird reason, I'm being asked these questions and it's like... Do you not understand what is or isn't acceptable? So I thought I'd make a quick video and address this. I have touched upon this numerous times throughout the course of, well, nearly a year that I've had my channel because I'd either get comments or private messages of people saying really weird things like, oh, this person was abusive to me, or they were a psychopath, or a narcissist, or a sociopath, or they were embarrassing me, humiliating me, um, making me feel small, treating me terribly. That is not Twin Flame. I don't understand how this is not logical and self-explanatory. Any behaviour that's deemed abusive is not to inflame, I can promise you that. And then people may come out with the argument of, oh, but you were in sep separation yourself, and yeah, separation, i.e. not being in contact for a logical reason, but never was I abused, mistreated, emotionally blackmailed, um, gosh, you know, never did I have any of this behaviour from my beloved. I had it from other relationships, so I know exactly what it looks like, let me tell you. I had an abusive relationship, the first relationship I ever had. It was such a bad state that I had to get the police involved. You know, that's what abuse is. I know 100%. So anyone who dares to come out there and say I'm delusional, you've no idea. I know perfectly well what to look for when it comes to red flags. But I want you to know that true twin flames are not abusive. They do not make you feel utterly useless. They may trigger inner wounding that you haven't looked at. For me, lessons included things like knowing my self-worth, knowing to speak my truth, knowing to be clear and open with myself about who I was. But never did they include anything to do with abuse, with emotional blackmail, with mental abuse, with physical or emotional, none of that, none of that. And yes, I've experienced all these types of abuse in prior relationships, so I know exactly what to look out for. And so whenever anyone comes to me for a reading and tells me of any this kind of behaviour, I can assure you I will tell you to get out of that. That is not Twin Flame stuff. That is awful, awful stuff. And sadly, a lot of us go through karmic situations that carry a lot of this abusive behaviour. But let me tell you, if this is you and this is what you're experiencing, get out now. No excuses. No, oh, they might be my Twin Flame. No, 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 no. Let me tell you that now. I can promise you that is not your twin flame. So I hope that this clears things up once and for all. I don't want to have to keep addressing this. I don't understand how this is even a question. Don't post a comment saying that someone's a psychopath and then expect me to say this is your twin flame. They're not. They are not. And for, you know, for loving yourself enough, get, get yourself out of there as soon as possible. I'm sure you can hear that this topic really inflames and angers me because I've been through the injustice. I've known many women who've been through the injustice, even men. You know, it's not a gender thing. It's sadly, it's a thing that happens more than we care to admit. And I want you to realize that you deserve better, that you deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. And you should never ever stand for anything where you feel uncomfortable or hurt or abused. 
Do yourself a favour and if this is you, get yourself out of there as soon as possible. You will thank yourself in the future. And the not so distant future, to be fair. So, I hope this has answered your questions. This is some food for thought. Please believe me, I've been through it. You know, you have to respect yourself enough to get yourself out of situations. So thank you all for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.